Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Wednesday, April 6, 2011. Got the date right this time? Let's get right to it. Matthew chapter 13, verse 36. Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the close of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the close of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears, let him hear all right, well, Jesus explains it. You got wheat and you got weeds, and you got sons of the kingdom and sons of the evil one. The reason you have those weeds is because the devil sowed seed that produced weeds. In other words, the devil got into, listen, listen, the devil got into God's kingdom. Whoa, how can that happen? Well, it did. I don't know. But somehow, it did. Fields the world. So we got things happening all over the world. But even in God's kingdom, you've got wheat and weeds. So, But the weeds look like the wheat. Remember back in Matthew 7, the wolves in sheep's clothing? You can't tell the wheat from the weeds all the time. And you're not going to be able to tell until harvest time comes. Now, there are some indicators, maybe, that somebody's not a true Christian, but you can't really tell for sure. There are times in my life when I haven't looked like one. There are probably times in your life when you haven't looked like one. One day, though, it's gonna, there's going to be a separation. The evildoers, the lawbreakers, and those who cause evil are going to then be gathered together, thrown into the fire. But it's not our job to do it now. And I've been involved in ministries that wanted to clean up the church. And they would just start grabbing what they thought was piles of weeds. And yanking them out of the church. Well, just like in the parable, probably they got some wheat too. They probably got some real sons of the kingdom. They probably got some real disciples when they were doing that. Uh, because they were just too haphazard. Listen, there is an appropriate time for church discipline, and we'll deal with that in Matthew chapter 18, but that's a, you're dealing with one person at a time there. But when you go in and just try to grab groups of people at a time, that's, you can't do that, all right? You've got to let, let it all grow and let God deal with it, which means you've got false disciples in the kingdom. That's what we're saying. Just be aware of it. And if, you, if it's hard for you to understand why certain people in the church keep doing things over and over and they keep, you know, and they just don't seem quite right, this is a possible explanation. Again, I would caution you, don't be judgmental because, like I said, I could, I've looked that way too at times. But this is a possible explanation. Maybe they are a son of the evil one. You can't assume that just because they're a member of your church that they're saved or they're in the kingdom. You can't assume that you are just because you're in a church. Have you obeyed the Word of God? Are you following His teaching? So, there are sons of the evil one in the kingdom, but God will deal with them eventually. you got to let Him deal with them. Alright? You do your best to be an obedient son of the kingdom. One day, it will only be kingdom people in the kingdom. And won't that be great? All the sin will be weeded out. The evil one will be gone, and it'll just be us and the Lord and the angels, I guess. All right. Anyhow, hopefully I explained that pretty good. We've got uh, some more great parables tomorrow, the parable of the treasure, the parable of the pearl of great price. Come back for the next edition of Take 5.